Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the week. How's it going with you? Let's see what messages want to come through for you. Traveling the spiritual path. Feel free to swap around any energies in this. If this is about a relationship for you, it could be about your relationship to yourself. This could be about your money. This could be about anything. We do freewheeling morning messages here. So let's see what wants to come out. Let's see what wants to come out. Some of you are asking about spiritual business class. It is starting later this month. So if you're interested in anchoring your life and getting out of a survival situation, moving into something that is sustainable for you, spiritual business class is where it's at. There's a link below. Come on along. We'd love to have you. Okay, let's see here. The activated ally. Uh-huh. Close your eyes and open your heart. Synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space. Um, yesterday I did a reading about, you know, the four whoever on Sunday nights are very popular. People love that reading. And it was really talking about someone who was a karmic catalyst. So if you haven't seen that reading, I'm going to put a card here so you can go back and look at this. Because I feel like you might be opening your eyes not really your physical eyes, but the eyes of your heart to see why a person is in your life. Okay, this person is activated or they've activated you. And so you might start seeing a lot of 1111s, 2222s. Here's the thing. If you see a lot of repeating numbers and it's the same number, then look that up, that number up in numerology and see what it is. But if you just see a lot of duplicate numbers or mirror numbers or anything like that. I did make a video a long time ago about repeating numbers, which I'll put a card to right here. And that is just a sense of like, hey, the universe is trying to get your attention. So if you see the same numbers over and over again, I invite you to look those up, angel numbers, that situation. But if you just are seeing um, a lot of numbers that are repeating and you're kind of like, oh, okay, it's like, this is your subconscious trying to like get you to wake up to something. But it because it's all different numbers, you don't really know what it is yet. It's just like kind of the initial, hey, I'm trying to get your attention thing. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. You may have had somebody come across your path that is activating you or they are being activated by you. Okay, so let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go here. Deep breath, people. Deep breath. Okay. All right. Three of swords underneath. There's a knight of cups. And there is an emperor energy here. I feel like some of you are moving beyond a heartache, um, taking action on your own best behalf. Right? You might have dealt with somebody who was a player, a cad, a beast. Um, Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. It's almost like you're looking away from that energy now. Justice. I see Aries and Libra so far. Fool. New beginnings. Seven of Wands. Being more discerning. This Queen of Swords and Seven of Wands makes you see, you know, your past, your past patterns, things like that. Eight of Wands. Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. This is leading you toward a life partnership. I feel like some of you, and I go watch that reading from yesterday, the weekly reading, the for whoever. I feel like somebody, you might have been thinking that some type of person or a person was your life partner, but they're really just opening the door for you to be like, no, I don't really want that. I want something else in my life. Whatever that is, okay? This person is helpful to you. They don't have any clue that they're helpful. They're not trying to be. <laughs> In fact, they might be jerks, okay? They might be jerks. Um, I see Taurus. I see Libra. I see Aries here. I do see Sag, okay? So I want to understand about this Knight of Wands, okay? Because this is clearly a catalyst energy, Two of Pentacles, there's the Empress. Two of Pentacles, Empress, 
three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. This person has been asking uh, or wants you to take care of them. All right. They are somebody who also needs other people in their life to take care of them. They, I don't know if they kind of use people, but they definitely feel like they need some grounding or some assistance in some way. Six of Pentacles here. You could be giving them some help. Um, they may act like they're giving you help, but I feel like you're giving them help. So the Activated Ally, I think we should read that one. It's a, um, a number nine card. And it can be about um, being the hero of your own cosmic journey, too. Um, that's not the one. That's 11. Sorry about that. Activated ally. There's a reason you admire certain characters, heroes, or mentors. Those you look up to represent a golden shadow. They reflect exactly who you are when you act from your highest self. Who are you most attracted to right now? Call forth your ally. They can be anyone dead or alive. It doesn't matter for this conversation. Activate them now. So this is about you being activated to your higher level. It's possible by somebody who is kind of low vibration um, as a catalyst. And I feel like this person, the three of pentacles here and the three, there's, and the three of swords, there's like a whisper of, um, and with the two of pentacles, like they're juggling two people. They really want someone to take care of them. I feel like they're kind of acting like a child. And I just get the sense that you're like, what did I ever see in that? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. The Queen of Swords, right? The Queen of Swords here. It just balances you. Nine of Wands, let me put it up here. Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles, oh yeah. Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So you're definitely moving away from this pattern. Um, it's, it's almost like, you know, I've been talking quite a bit about um, the, the uh, stellium in Pisces right now and the Neptune energy of, you know, how we kind of self-delude ourselves, how we kind of don't see patterns, we don't want to see them. And this is about you seeing the pattern. Sorry, I had to cough. Okay, <laughs> so um, this is a little bit, backwards. And what I mean by that is, first of all, you're not here to be someone's um, mommy or daddy. You're not here to be that. And I feel like when you finally stand up and are like, yeah, this doesn't feel good to me anymore. And you walk toward what you want to create, king of pentacles and queen of pentacles, something stable, stable and solid, or something magical, something emperor and empress, something very powerful, you know, wanting a really powerful connection. I feel like right now in the world, we're shifting out of an energy of, you know, teaching each other or, you know, things getting rocky. But now it's like with the North Node in Taurus, like you have to choose what your priority is right now. Right now, like what do you want to create in your life? And I feel like that clarity of put, being pushed into that moment of I can only choose one thing or I can only choose um, my happiness. I can only choose the kind of partnership I want to create. I'm no longer attracting people who do not fit that mold. I'm no longer accepting any kind of invitation from something that does not fit what I want to create. When you start doing that, becoming more discerning, the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands here, becoming much more discerning about things, that's when what you want to create is able to show up. So this doesn't have to be a love commitment, but this is a commitment to yourself to create what you want in your life. Okay, for some of you, it can be about creating a love commitment. Uh, for some of you, it can be about getting out of a pattern of relationships that was doomed to fail because you were asking for one thing and getting another and thinking that you could change that person into what you truly wanted or that you really wanted them to be a twin flame or you really wanted them to be a life partner but that wasn't the lesson go back and watch that for whoever because that was the whole reading yesterday was that the person is not who you think they are 
Okay, so this says to me that you're walking away from a pattern that was not what you want to create and you're going towards something you do want to create. You're finally realizing how to work that, how to do that. All right, the Eight of Wands here, clarify the Eight of Wands for me. Woo, Seven of Swords, Hierophant, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. Okay, so... This person is trying to steal through their communication, all right? This person is a teacher for you, and they're trying to, um, I feel like they're immature. Again, this is very similar to that for whoever yesterday. The Seven of Swords, this person is trying to get away with something through communication. This person's a very gifted communicator. They could be, you know, twisting your words around. They could be somebody who is, you know, very, very smart, clever, okay? And you're just like, you know, trying to be straightforward with them. And I just feel like this person, um, I don't know that they hate commitment, but it's not their thing. They always need multiple people around. They... This person hides a lot of their life, all right? They hide from who they truly are from themselves, and they also try to paint this picture of who they are to other people. They're trying to act like they're some kind of guru or there's some kind of, um, you know, real uh, wisdom, uh, wise, you know, hermit kind of person like that. But, like, I feel like you're seeing through this person, I almost feel like because you don't take the bait, they do come out and they say some things to you. This person might want to be with you because of your stability. I'm getting the king and queen, king of pentacles a couple of times here. And the truth is that they uh, might want commitment with you because it's going to make them stable. This person might be very unstable. All right. They may be somebody who is financially unstable. Right. They're the two beggars there and you're the the uh, person who is, you know, the rich man who is able to bestow upon other people, King of Pentacles, something that they need. And I feel like this person is in some kind of need. All right. Um, so that's why they're starting things up again. But I feel like they're not honest about it. Okay. So Essentially what you're doing here is you're balancing yourself, you're understanding what it is you want to create in your life, and there's some situation that is really trying to take your energy, really sucking your energy. And I feel like finally this person comes clean and says it, but they've been lying for a really long time. They could have been lying to themselves about what it is they want. What was the lie here? Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. I think they've been lying about their financial situation. I think they've been lying about their own lack of stability. I think they've been <clears throat> living in a fantasy about um, money. They have a real block around money. And they might see you as somebody who has a lot to offer in terms of stability. And that can be emotional stability. It can be any kind of stability. But I do feel like this person sees you as the pathway to their stability. And so they might change how they talk or, <clears throat> or something. But I think it's a lie. Because I think they're just trying to manipulate you. I don't think they know... As, you know, everything I'm saying about them, I don't think they're self-reflective. I don't think they understand it. I think they just know what they need, right? They just know what they need at any given time, and that's what they put their energy to. But I feel like they probably have some kind of problem with money, some kind of problem, whatever it is, that's creating, it just shows up in their money or it shows up in their life. It shows up. No matter how hard they try to hide it, it shows up. And now, because we're moving into this more awakened state, I do feel like April, I do feel like there's a Neptunian <clears throat> um, activation that's going on. 
that is going to awaken a lot of people, but also make things utterly transparent. Like there's no way you can't see the truth. And so people who've been lied to, especially by people that they love or that they want to have in their life, the deception becomes clear. It just is like so obvious. The deception just comes out of hiding. All right. Okay. I am going to look at Taurus and Libra. I see lots of Taurus and Libra energy here. Taurus, Libra. I see Aries. I see Sag. Taurus, Libra, Aries, and Sag. Anything else? No, lots of Taurus and lots of Libra though. Okay. All right. So if you want to continue on with me this morning, the link is below. I will look at those signs, Sag, Aries, Taurus, and Libra. I'll look at those and um, let's see where we go. All right. Link is below. If you're part of Pathfinders, the rest of this reading starts right now.